Hello everyone, Simage here and I am back with a video that I wasn't planning on doing, but then one of my all-time favorite YouTube channels started putting out episodes again for the first time in a long time, and I had to get on here and give my thoughts. So Classic Game Room came back this week with two new episodes so far, one on Ninja Golf and one on Tempest 2000. Mark Bustler had been teasing a new season prior to this, but these episodes took me by surprise and brought back so many good memories and reminded me why I loved this show in the first place. Classic Game Room got me into so many older games that I would not have seen outside of reading Hardcore Gaming 101 and I'm very thankful for the channel because of that. But the reason I'm doing this commentary is I realized that the return of this show is great for arcade games and fans of those games like myself and I want to talk about that. Mark is a huge fan of arcade style games, including shmups. He is one of the biggest champions of arcade games that I've ever seen on this site. Back in his heyday, he did more to spread awareness of Truxton than anyone else on YouTube, maybe even a little bit too much sometimes. In fact, he's been doing shorts lately of Truxton 2 as he has the PCB at this point. He used to do his show in the Intergalactic Space Arcade at one point, which was a set that has several different arcade cabinets in the background at different points, including a Raiden 2 cabinet that had trucks in installed in it. He has also reviewed a lot of shmup ports on different consoles over the years. His review of the Saturn port of Darius Gaiden is one of my favorite reviews he's ever done. He's even aware of Cave for those of you that are big fans of Cave shmups. He's reviewed Mushihima Sama Fatari and Dodon Pachi Resurrection on the 360, just to name a couple of examples, as well as the Saturn port of Dodon Pachi, to name another one. He's not the kind of YouTuber that is going to do a 1cc of a shmup or break down scoring mechanics in great detail, but he's also not the guy that is going to rag on an arcade game like modern mainstream critics often do for being too short because you can credit feed. He understands the appeal of arcade games and the joy of playing for a high score, or in the case of a racing game for example, getting a faster time or finishing in a higher position than before. He's not afraid of simpler games that are easy to pick up and play and hard to master. I bought a game one time because of him. In fact, I bought Enduro Racer for the Master System when it was on the Wii Virtual Console. I got it off of there, despite mainstream critics trashing it. All because Classic Game Room gave the game a positive review and didn't just bash it for being really short. And honestly, his review was right and the critics were dead wrong in that case. It wasn't just his love of old games that made the show work back in the day, but it was also his personality. He sounded like a total natural on camera. And he, his stuff never sounded too scripted either. Also, he had this ability to make the games that he likes seem even more fun than they already are because he sounds like he's having so much fun. Especially during the peak of classic game room in the early 2010s. I love the old gags that he used to do for the most part, like putting the old wrong game in the wrong console and his map showing where the donated games came from. Now later on, I do think he lost some of that passion especially near the end of his previous run. And he seemed bitter afterwards about the decline of his show and all the changes in YouTube that was happening, which he believes is the reason why his show went downhill. Also, I do have my concerns about his shorter videos and how they will fare in the current landscape. However, I am optimistic, judging from these two videos so far, that he's going into this comeback with a better mindset than when he left. As long as he sticks to being himself and he doesn't get himself down again, he stays motivated and committed to this, I think he can get a lot of his older audience back and maybe even pick up a few new fans along the way. One thing that I think he should do in the future is live streams, whether it be some sort of Q&A or him streaming himself playing on one of his arcade cabinets or one of his old consoles that he still has. I think he needs to engage a bit more directly with the audience than just posting videos regularly. I do think the shorts are a good move though because YouTube likes to push them and I know I'm not I know a lot of people don't really care for them. I'm not the biggest fan of them either, but the algorithm likes YouTube shorts. So I think it's a good move for him to try those out. 
But the bottom line is, Classic Game Room coming back is great for shmup players, arcade gamers in general, and retro gamers. Hopefully, Mark is committed to this comeback and gives us a lot of new content. I don't expect him to be back for the next 10 years per se, because he is in his 40s at this point. But I would like to see at least a few new seasons of Classic Game Room so that he can go out on a much better note than in 2017. What did you think of Classic Game Room? Did you enjoy it like I did? Leave a comment below and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more commentary videos and one credit clear playthroughs in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.